Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Torta Maintenance YouTube channel. You are looking with me on 2007 Toyota Tundra SR5 with approximately 197,000 miles on the odometer. She's equipped with 5.7 liter V8 engine. Peter, nice abs. Ooh. And she developed very small engine coolant leak. So I will go and investigate where it's coming from. If you want to see where your Tundra could be leaking coolant, follow me in this video. And when you open the hood and you look inside of the engine bay, you realize that you actually will not see almost anything from above here. It's very busy. There's very little space to put even mirror down there. So maybe we should go put her on the lift and start from underneath. She's nicely in the air. Let's get this video going. But first, really quickly, let's explain what we see as a technicians on this generation of Tundra starting at 2007 with 5.7 liter V8. 3UR engine, what are the most common engine coolant leaks? Coolant can be leaking from all kinds of spaces. It can be the hose or fitting or thermostat. But in general, there are two main occurrences. One is the water pump, which is on the front, mounted on the front of the engine. And there is the other one, which is not good for finances because it's a labor consuming not so parts but the labor and that's the heat exchanger which is inside of that V8 engine by some miracle you will see both good for you really bad for me I just peaked before I was going to set up the lights for you, I just peek. I have a leak from both. No! I bought this truck as a project truck and as a fixer. But I tell you what, I'm getting tired of fixing everything on it. I can't believe I have also the valley coolant. So here you can, you are looking, let's back a little bit, propeller shaft automatic transmission and we are going towards the front and guess what is down here look on that bottom there is a coolant droplet there is one the frame is dry which means there is a beginning of the valley heat exchanger leak and that's not funny because that's a labor intensive and I definitely, if I don't have to, I would love not to deal with it. But guess what? I will have to. I can't just ignore it and either keep it this way, let my wife drive it or sell it. It's just not going to happen. This truck, if I will sell it, has to be perfectly fixed. And only after that it will be for sale. I meant, right, the hoses and so on. This all could be there could be micro hole in it or the clamp might fail and it could be leaking but it's not common the common is to see this and that's really really bad news for me and i did the transmission service and i was standing underneath and it was running i saw only this do you see it's bad here this is way a larger leak do you see this droplet that's a coolant super long life coolant i'm looking up there there is more coolant on the front of the engine. And I will set up the lights and use the zoom to show you that it, this is not related. And this engine is also leaking from the water pump up there. So let me go get it ready. And today you are absolutely getting a max worth for your money because you are really observing with me both leaks how lucky am i huh this is unbelievable do you see the front of the engine how it's wet there this is definitely 
When it's located here, you can see the super long life and pinkish coolant. This is definitely from the water pump, which is up there. Today it's really bad news. I'm not happy about this because I was mentally ready for the water pump on the front. Which is not such a big deal, but to discover that the valley heat exchanger is leaking too. Are you kidding me? So back to the front. This is a engine with timing chain, so the water pump is not being run by the timing belt. That was the previous 4.7 liter. As we said, this is 5.7. I hope, I don't know if it's focused, but you see that pink spot. I hope you do. Let me use the screen if it will focus on it. Probably not. That pink spot, guys, that's the coolant. It's a super long life coolant. And that's right on the body of the water pump. So despite the fact we cannot get there because it's so busy from above, from here, this has to be fully dismantled, taken apart. I have also one pulley squeaking. I don't know if it's the tensioner pulley. What pulleys bearing is dried out? When you start it up, it's kind of squeaking. When you warm it up, it was, I will say, mainly 95% away. So that will be part of this water pump job. I will have the serpentine bell removed. And because of that, I will be able to spin independently all the pulleys because the belt will be off and I can feel the play also here when they are dried out they have a play they make kind of that dry out grinding sound also if you spin them they keep spinning forever it's because there's no resistance of that grease which is supposed to be there could be the pulley up there there's multiple of them which are supporting that serpentine belt running all these components. So if I may summarize this and you saw it for yourself and I'm very happy for you that I was able to show it to you. Two major leaks from the valley heat exchanger which is basically a resale job plus there is a water pipe outlet with two o-rings on it. So you need a tube of FIPG from Toyota. Where is it? It's right here. Why? I just don't show you. Toyota seal packing. This is what you will apply to clean the previous gasket which failed. There's probably 12 bolts around it. Um, there's special torque 15 foot pounds I believe and you need to let it cure for a while. Don't think that you will just put a FIPG torque it and continue put the plenum back and then start filling it with the coolant it's better to do it overnight or something like that <sighs> then it's the water pump on the front which is not so time consuming the pumps are relatively affordable i'm pretty sure it's below 200 dollars you are applying multi-layer uh, metal gasket believe it or not it's not a paper or you are not squeezing the FIPG. The pump comes if it's gasket. Obviously, where you are there, you will look on the quality or shape of that serpentine belt and you check all your pulleys. You spin them, listen to them, check for a play. If they are dried out, since you are already there, it's the perfect time to replace it. So happy for you i'm happy i was able to show you most common coolant leaks on 5.7 i hope you feel bad for me at least a little bit because this lady is so far nothing than trouble and i'm a little bit losing my patience with her i hope you find this video helpful it will help you to decide if you have a coolant leak where it's coming from if you find it helpful please give it a thumb up be subscribed 
and have notifications on so you don't miss the future videos. Thank you for watching. Wish me luck and have a nice day.